question, right? It, for it being this, like this direction that they're going is, is um, what's what's that mechanic? Is the LTI, the insurance mechanic, going to ruin that that realness, right? Because right now, for example, a great thing, a great example I could use is Escape from Tarkov. Right, you take your your gear out. You know that there's a chance you may not return with it, <laughs> right? And then Star Citizen, it's not just going to be your gear or your weapon, but Star Citizen, it's like it's going to be like everything. But will this whole LTI and the insurance mechanic right now isn't that going to ruin it? Because nobody's going to care because they just they'll just reclaim it, you know. So. What do you guys think people they need to do to ensure that we get that full experience? I don't, I don't, I've never been to uh, I've never been to uh, Canada, and I don't mm -hmm. really know how Canada government work or mm -hmm. government systems work. But have Canada made having insurance on your field mandatory? Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's mandatory. It's a mandatory is mandatory here in the u.s too mm -hmm. so that being said that's long-term that's that's long-term lifetime insurance right 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 so in game that's almost mandatory almost kind of like mandatory lifetime insurance yes you will still have to pay your premium right 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 so the way so not only is is Tony Zervik uh, developing the the uh, what's the um, the quantum quantum, quantum right? yep. he is also developing the game's economy mm -hmm. him and his team right yeah so when you have like the long term insurance right mm -hmm. you have to scale it. Your insurance has to be scaled to the type of ship that it is and what it does. Mm -hmm. You see? So combat orientated ships will have a higher premium because there's going to be a supply and demand for their components and their hull because these ships are going to be constantly in combat, constantly blowing up. And so the economy is going to like, well, okay, well, guess what? We have civilians. We have a civilian that happens to own a Super Hornet. Mm -hmm. How is it that a civilian owns a Super Hornet? How is it that a civilian owns a Redeemer? Right. Which is a military ship. Yeah. Super Hornet is a UEE military ship. Right. Right? So you can have lifetime insurance on all your ships. It doesn't matter. But the premium for that ship to get that ship back is going to be, you're going to have to pay that. Right now, right. there's no need for you to pay your premium on your ship because there's no persi persistence for that. There's no economy for that. But once the right. economy is fully fleshed out, you're going to have a higher premium for this ship, for, for certain ships, and lower premium for non-combatant ships, right? So, right. Like, 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 take your Aurora, right? The Aurora. Mm. It's a civilian ship. That's the ship you're actually supposed to have. Or well, like the Nomad that you're flying in, right? These right. are non combatant ships. These are expo exploration vessels. Uh, or right. like ships like uh like uh like take the the RSI medical ships. There's two different types of medical ships. There's the medical ship and there's the medical triage. Do you know right. the difference? Right, right. The, the triage is the medical ship that goes into combat mm. to bring people out, right? So it's going to mm. have a higher premium because it's bringing that ship into, in harm's way. Right. See, just like in real life, yeah, nobody wants to get into an accident. But if you get into an accident with your insurance, your premium go up. That's true. Because you put yourself at risk, right? Right. So, so... <clears throat> So when you when you uh uh with with like
like, especially for people who own javelins and interests. Mm-hmm. You see, when you get when you get those uh, types of uh, ships, uh, mm-hmm. console anything with gunship in it, combat orientated, those ships will definitely have a higher premium. So your insurance will be a a part of your cost of living. But you will always have insurance. You will never have to purchase insurance. That's what that means. But you right. pay for the premium to get your ship to be respond. This is why you're gonna have to calculate things. It's like okay, if think of it like this. Yes, you have a redeemer. Yes, you have a super hornet. Yes, you have a a a vanguard. Mm-hmm. And you use your vanguard in these combat ships for what they're intended to do because you want to be part of that action. But you have to make sure that your bank account matches how you play the game. True. Don't bring your redeemer into combat and you only got 10 grand in your bank account. Right. Because when your ship blows up, your premium just may be ten grand. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Right, that's true. That's true. That's true. You know, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That makes sense. I think that will work. That will work. That will work for sure. You know. Hmm. So yeah. So so this this whole insurance mechanic is definitely it's it's gonna be it's gonna look completely different when this thing goes live for sure. So so you won't necessarily have to worry about people abusing the system mm. because because of the fact that it it'll work like it naturally works. You see, you you get your you get your ship blown up or you get your ship disabled. You know, the insurance is supposed to cover what comes on the ship, right? Right. <clears throat> now, what I don't know is in the future, let's say, this is what we need to find out. This is what we need to hash out. Mm-hmm. Um, if your ship comes with LTI mm-hmm. stock, with stock components, stock weapons, the whole nine stock, a you upgrade then does the LTI cover the items the newly items that you put on it and I think that question was asked before many times but I can't recall what the uh, answer is what the answers were mm. I, I think what would make sense is it will scale up like you will pay that extra premium on the like your insurance is covering what what stock but if you want to cover the rest of your let's say a new military grade power plant you have to pay an extra premium like in elite dangerous it kind of works that way right now if you want all of your components to be um if your ship to if you want your ship to be restored with all your high grade components you have to pay extra for it from what i recall a long time ago when i played elite dangerous and i think that works mm-hmm. 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 you know right 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 especially for components that'll be exponentially more expensive for right certain types of ships right you know right We'll just have to wait and see how how they uh implement that because the whole insurance thing is definitely supposed to be part of the economy and yeah it's supposed to be a uh a, 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 a risk versus reward type of thing too based on on what you do how you how you um operate in the right. bird because your your ship is supposed to be your tool and it's your lifeline so, right so it'd be interesting to see how they uh implement, it. Imp- implement that yeah right 
Mm. But no inboxing. You if you if your ship get blown up and you can't pay your insurance or however that work, you will not lose your ship. Your ship will always be your ship. It it be it will be your ship. It's just that you will have to uh wait until you can earn the money to be able to pay for your premium to get your ship remanufactured, reanimated and and and, and ship right. back ship back to you. Right. It says, I thought I heard also if you have a ship that has like six months insurance and it runs out, you go to an office and game and get more using space bucks. Yeah, that can definitely be uh, possible uh, yeah. because insurance is, is definitely going to be a consumable mm -hmm. for people who can't afford li lifetime because lifetime insurance is a premium. That is a high premium, high dollar item, right? So right. if you want to insure your ship for a long term, you're going to mm -hmm. come out the pocket for that. Right. You see? So once again, that's going to have to be a financial decision plan, Star Citizen, going forward as a citizen, where you're going to have to think about your financial decisions. You right. see? Like, if you if you see yourself not in combat so much, you're not really into the combat thing, then there's really no need for you to have a super expensive uh, insurance. If you're just doing sure. a cargo runs and stuff like that, um, sure. or you or you're just doing ground missions where you're not really in the ship all that often, or mm -hmm. if you're playing as a crew member on board somebody else's ship, then there's really no need for you to spend ridiculous amount of money on insurance. Um, only ships that I see that will have, uh, that will require a high level insurance policies are ships that are in, in constant harm's way or hazardous uh, jobs, like ships like the, the Prospector, ships mm -hmm. like the Argo Mole, uh, ships like the uh, the Orion, things of that nature, or the the, the big behemoth reclaimer. You know, right. these these ships do hazardous uh, jobs. They they can put themselves in 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 compromising situation where the, the the reclaimer can can pinch off a piece of the hull and the ship just blow up and blows up with it. You see, it's right. it's it's hazardous work. So I can see those ships having high uh, premium. You need high premium insurance for those type of ships right. doing right. their due to their size and the nature of their activity. Right. 